Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I have a beautiful Tonic Studios haul and an AliExpress haul. So let's get started. Hey guys, so first we're going to start off with Tonic Studios. So these are bundles basically. This is the adhesive bundle. You get two double-sided tissue tapes. Okay, there's the sizes right there. Pretty big um, sizes there. I love that you get two of them, so that's awesome. And then you get these dimensional foam, so you get three of those. They're squares, there's the size right there. Very, very cool. I am always looking for really great adhesive for my projects. And last but not least, you get these five adhesive sheets and there's the sizes right there. And that is that bundle. Yeah, these are really great adhesives. I've already started using them. So let's put that to the side. Now I got this in, I believe it was my mystery bundle, that huge bundle. That That is a decorative, decorative dies for these huge memory books. Okay, but I got this, now this was not on sale, uh, but I got it on here, um, but I wanted the whole set. <laughs> so these are the base dies to the memory book. So this is what it looks like. I just started with the cover so far. This is a full inspired, it's gonna be a full inspired memory book. And there you go, I embellished it a little bit with what I'm gonna show you uh, next. So I, they did not fit, so I had to cut them, okay, the, with the, um, an X-Acto knife around. Um, by hand because the big the biggest dies they do not fit into my die cut machine unfortunately and right now I'm not gonna buy another die cut machine but I can still use them which is awesome you just hand cut them and you have all the different sizes you can do you know a large book a medium and a small so that's really cool and then I believe that says my journey um, and then you get the shadow piece right there, and I am sorry there is a motorcycle because New York, and uh, I think it says big book, and so that is that. I know it's a mess. All right, so up next is glacier pastes. All right, so this is a bundle. Alrighty, I love these glacier paste. They are absolutely beautiful. I believe this is called pistachio. These are gorgeous for stencils. It really goes on like butter. And I love them. This is called uh, pineapple delight, I believe it's called. Absolutely gorgeous. And this reddish one, I forgot what it's called, but it's just like, this beautiful fall color. And then you have this icy blue color right here. And what I did is I used my little palette knife and I swatched them for you so you can actually see the colors on uh, what they look on paper. This is watercolor paper. And I love that, just that beautiful shiny shift. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can use it to do any type of embellishments. So on the bottom there is the next little bundle. I am in love with these glacier pastes. When they were on sale in a bundle, I grabbed them. I believe it was maybe 12 to $15 at the most. All right, so up next are these gorgeous, um, these are called Aqua Shimmer uh, pens, markers. And they come in, um, I got the gold and um, silver. And they're like gloss markers. So they're not highly pigmented, but it gives you this beautiful, sheer shine and gloss to them so you get two silver whoops and two gold so that's really really cool and they were very affordable so there's the two gold I already started using them and then you get the two silvers there there you go yeah it's a glitter gloss they're very 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 cool and this beautiful light shift to it that's what the tip looks like and you just have to shake it up a bit 
and it does it is a little messy when you first kind of like get the pen uh the marker going just letting you know that it kind of leaks out a little bit but anyway there's this silver and there is that beautiful gold it just like leaves like this beautiful glossy touch to projects i think it would be beautiful for like christmas uh projects all right so next up are my beautiful mica spray so this was all a bundle okay so this is the colors this like beautiful silver here these are mica mists now the only thing i don't like about these are the pump the spray itself sometimes they don't work so that's the only thing I don't like. But this gorgeous blue. And I actually have this one already. I got in another bundle. So I'm actually going to give that one away in my um, giveaway. My next giveaway. And then this is the gold one. I do have that one as well. But I know I'm going to use the gold more. Because gold is great for anything. But that blue is gorgeous. And then this one is this like beautiful... It has this like very yellowy undertone. It's gorgeous. It's like this brassy color. And then you have this beautiful like darker stormier gray here. And they're beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I use them so far. So here is, I got this stamp from AliExpress. I'm going to show you. Okay, and I colored it in. And there's the two sprays together. That's how you can layer them. So here's that brassier one on more on the edge there and then the gold one is like right next to it blended in and it just gives this whole project like this beautiful vintage look and it's on the um and i you i colored it in with all my i did use the glimmer the shimmer gloss pens with also my aqua flow markers and alcohol uh markers and i just love the way this came out it just looks like a real like old piece of paper and I absolutely love it alrighty up next is Aliexpress so I thought these were gonna be much smaller like individual pieces but these are like just like sheets so three sheets of these vintage inspired stickers you see they're like self-adhesive and you can like cut them up you can use the whole sheet at once if you want on a project but I'm definitely gonna like cut them up but they're really, really cool for my vintage projects. And they sent a little freebie with a little thank you, which I love. These are cute. I'm probably not going to use them, but they're cute. Little emoji stickers. So that is the first thing I got. Very, very nice. I love those stickers. So up next are some dyes. Now these are cloud and like hill or grass dye. So that is really, really cute. I love them. I just got into like the clouds and stuff. And this is a Halloween castle die. But as I'm looking, I could actually use it for like different types of castles if you want. Like for fairy projects as well. But I did get it for Halloween projects. Now this is a die you can you, you can like it's like an open door so yeah those little spiders for halloween so you can put those in cards to embellish the front of your cards now these are gorgeous i love these the moon stars and this kind of like swirling cloud dies and that was all one set and i love that these little parts are like embossed on top of the clouds and this is another cloud die. And what I love, they are really, I love that huge one right there and three smaller ones. I love that. I have not used these yet. I cannot wait. And I love the little stitching on them. I really can't wait to try them out. So let's put these to the side. I know I'm already jumping ahead to fall and Halloween because, well, summer's not my favorite. But anyway, here are some stamps. All right, this beautiful sunflower stamp. I love that. I love that it's clear so I could actually color them in. And this is really, really nice. This is beautiful. It's almost like a Mandela, kind of. It's one huge stamp. Let's see how the, I'm just showing you the sizes. But what's cool about this one is that when you open it up, you can actually take the heart out. 
and I believe you could take those other corner pieces out as well so you could use them individually. So I thought that was very, very cool and different. And this is like a Hobbit door. Uh, Lord of the Rings is one of my favorites, or like a fairy door. When I looked, I was like, this is a Hobbit door. <laughs> so I love that. But I really got it for fairy projects. And I'm sorry guys, it got stuck to one another. I just gotta take that apart real quick. All right, here we go. And again, this is fairies. Look how beautiful this is. That gorgeous little fairy right there. And you have some textures and beautiful like plants. And I love that. So pretty. And that's all from one seller. So those two are from one seller. Actually, the next two as well. All of them. And here is some more fairy um, stamps. And you get quite... I love that they have all different types of fairies on this. You see that little tiny guy right there, the little beautiful fairy. You have butterflies and plants and just beautiful. Alrighty. Let's move that to the side so we can get some more stuff. Alright. And then you have this beautiful other um beach and sea and mermaid inspired you have some fish jellyfish i just love this one look how beautiful this is i cannot wait to use those and yes all four of them are from one seller and i am so sorry i don't keep track of the sellers and then this one is one huge die i uh, die sorry one huge stamp and this is a mandela I think that is absolutely gorgeous because I cannot wait to color that in. I love that. It's almost like an adult coloring book type of thing. So beautiful. And this is the one that I used in the other project that I just showed you. Here are the flowers, kind of like fall leaves and or just any type of leaves and flowers. And that is the one I just used, uh, I just showed you when I colored it in. So that is my haul, guys. I am so happy with it. I have to order some more AliExpress stuff. I don't have anything coming. So yeah, I'm gonna make an order soon when I see some stuff that I really, really like. So there is that beautiful acrylic stamp colored in as you can see it I just love showing you examples so thanks a lot guys for watching today don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and I will see you in the next one bye